Ooh, what's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender. And today we're going against Noble Co, aka Axel. That just rolls out his, your tongue, really. I love that intro, and <laughs> he has it in his channel. Make sure to check him out, I'm gonna leave the description on his channel down below. He's a very good battler, a very confident, aggressive battler. And the last time we went against each other, he actually, we had an injured match, which was really, really close. And... Um, the only reason it was that close is because he is so good at predictions and very fast adapt, so it's a blast going against him. Uh, we step out a notch here to an Ori game, and this was actually somewhat of four weeks in the making, because we actually tried to have a battle uh, for some time, but due to that uh, he lives, uh, or we differentiate in eight hours, we have pretty much trouble, you know, um, be free at the same time, but we finally did it, and it turned out to be a really great battle because of it, and definitely a Friday upload. Um, Friday uploads, you know, guys, are my special battles that are more impressive, always against pocket tubers, and this guy is probably one of the best. So, other than that, let's look at the team. He's got the Rotom uh, Maw, great use since it doesn't have any ground types. Uh, he got the Hitman Top, uh, Mega Bannet, which is going to be trouble, always trouble, that prankster. Dude, I'm telling you, Yolteon too. Yolteon was a suspect for RU because it wasn't UU. Uh, it isn't that it's that strong, it is that it's it's so fast that it can deal with almost anything. And also got the Explode there. We know exactly what this thing does nowadays. And Ivy Palm. I myself using Electros and Ivy Palm myself. Uh, I wanted to uh, use my artillery here because, you know, it's been somewhat my MVP this week. Uh, Glade, Dewblade, and John Mega. Uh, I did expect him to start with Ivy Palm, uh, but I didn't want to start off with my own because my is not uh, fully invested in speed. Uh, so anyway guys, let's see what I do here. So right in the beginning here, I actually start off with my Electros. I was kind of want to bait him to you know not go for Fake Out due to having uh, my Dew Blade. Uh, he will actually go for the safest move here and go for the Fake Out. That is really unfortunate because I went for a Volt Switch, which obviously wouldn't matter here. And I know he's probably going to go for a Double Hit or a U-Turn. A Double Hit will actually take me out here, so... Luckily for me, he went for the U-turn and not the double hit, though it would be a good block from my side, obviously. Uh, but the U-turn makes him get the switch initiative to his explode. I know a flamethrower is common, I can't stay into this. I uh, have to switch out to my Assault Vested uh, Spade or Glade. Um, I knew he wasn't gonna stay in here, he's not gonna take a Drain Punch well, so I did go for Psycho Cut. Luckily for me, he went to hit him on top, but... You know, that did not so much matter because this thing is a bulky mother. Wow, it takes a hit like a champ. So anyway, I'm kind of fearing a knockoff coming my way, so I went to Grindle. Um, luckily for me, I went for an Earthquake, uh, which puts me in a very good position because Hitman Top can't really deal with me. Uh, so he's going to use Yolteon. If I remember correctly, I'll try to go for a Volt Switch here. So a great um, prediction on my opponent's side. And Shadow Ball doesn't do too much, and I get to Giga Brain off here. Uh, so this is a matchup I actually will win, because I do more damage than he can take. I should have definitely feared him going for a Volt Switch here. Because, uh, like I said there, I did feel that that was much I was gonna win. Uh, so sadly I went for Giga Drain there, which obviously doesn't do anything. You know, I get some HP back, sure. But I would be much better off with the Flamethrower. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my Spade. He actually went for the will o -Wisp, which is very, very annoying. I was actually hoping he went for a Thunder Move or anything like that, because I could easily wall that. So I get a poison jab off you, I mean, I'm pretty much in the second mood now, because my Glade is by default dead, really. And, uh, well, this Bannet is just my cup of tea, so I did have nothing that could take this move well, or a Shadow Sneak. Uh, I could have gone to my Ivy Palm, sure, but then I would face the risk of having it burned, and I can't have my Ivy Palm burn at the moment. So I just decided to set him off here. So here comes Kesha, and, well... I decided to go for a Skull here, he go for a Protect, so I knew he was gonna switch out here, so I went for a Thunder Wave. Should probably expect him to bring the Rodan, right? So I was so sure he was gonna go for a Leaf Storm here, I know a Speed Boost after that will make my Cipra defeat this one, but no, we went for Thunderbolt and... Yeah, that was a huge misplay, really. Uh, <laughs> basically. So anyway, my Ivy Palm is here, I... You know, there is really nothing real I can do here. So the Hitman Top comes in. I did expect him to switch out, so I did not go for a fake out, I decided to go for a knockoff right away. Knocking off the leftovers there, which pretty much make Hitman top, you know, not useless, but useless enough. So I did expect to go for a close combat, and I know I can take a nut quick rather well, but I actually got a crit if I'm running quickly. That did around 40 HP, which is really, really annoying. Um, but you know, 
it won't matter in the long run here, luckily. So with another earthquake, it went, well, I just brought Grindel here. I did expect to go to Rotom here, so I did it right prediction, went for Flamethrower, and I actually take it out. So, yeah, huge. Very huge, really. So we explode here. Um, I can't do anything against it. He has a scrap beat, so I can't switch into anything here. I just have to sack my Grindel. Uh, he was probably a winning streak for Yolteon, which is a huge trouble, really. So we decide to stay in here. Um, so I get the fake it out, so he actually decides to switch out. So I went for another knockoff bomber and click correctly here. Yeah. Uh, obviously not in a range to take it out. So I go for a sucker punch here, thinking I actually will defeat him with a double hit. I do not. He actually survives this. Uh, and I go into expect him to go for another sucker punch, and I don't want my Ibu Palm to take too much damage. Uh, so I'm gonna go for a safe switch into my Dew Blade here. And, uh, you know, he gets a sucker punch off. You know, that did roughly like the same as uh, the Earthquake did. Uh, I did expect him, you know, just in case he wanted to switch out. Uh, expect him to go for a Shadow Sneak. Um, so anyway, he gets a knockoff here off. I actually survive with 13 HP. And I retaliate with a Sacred Sword. So that is his Ivy Palm blow out of the way. Obviously, that one was the one that has that priority fake out. So I'm really glad there. Uh, I did want to sack my Dewblade just yet, because I know my Dewblade is the only thing that can actually outspeed my, his Jolteon here. So I did expect to go for a Shadow Sneak, I'm just going to recover it with my leftovers, and then I'm going to actually switch out here to my uh, Kesha, because I knew that this thing cannot deal with either Bannet or Jolteon for that matter, and since I got the Explode left, I was kind of hoping, please, try to switch out to that. And I didn't really want to go for another Thunder Wave, because the problem with that would be that even though if I did go for a Thunder Wave, that um, his Yolt would absorb that and he would retaliate with a Volt Switch, pretty much wasting my turn. So sadly he survived this, and there is really nothing I can do where I kind of have to accept this and uh, sack off my Kesha. Like I said, um, there was really nothing Kesha could do against Yolteon or Bannet for that matter anyway. Um, so you know, I'm faster, uh, I did expect him to be choice specs considering the amount of damage that he done. <laughs> this whole game. So now the matchup is kind of unfair there, but um, we actually found out here that there is really nothing he could do. Uh, he got only got the Will O Wisp as an attacking move. There is then they got Protect and uh, Shadow Sneak, and actually gonna show me later on here that he has the Destiny Bond. And being that I am that I am burned uh, and I am not able to outspeed a Jolteon, I am in the same type of position where he is that uh, we just you know. I'm gonna ride this one through, like, I accept that he defeats me <laughs> with the Destiny Bond as I defeat him with the knockoff. It's really funny thinking about it because, you know, it wouldn't have mattered. I mean, I could have stalled him out to maybe, you know, avoid it to, um, you know, not get down with the Destiny Bond, but that wouldn't have mattered, like I said, because Yolteon is still faster and the burn to fake out is worthless, really, in a switch phase, phase here. So, anyway, the last matchup of us is obviously the Dew Blade versus Yolteon. Am I able to defeat this one with a Shadow Sneak? He's got some damage on him, so I am in somewhat of a good position. So, I'm pulling off the Shadow Sneak, and... Let's do it, right? No. <laughs> it was a real close battle, though. I did appreciate it. I actually thought that we both did some good predictions here, and, uh, you know... It's almost the same as it was our last game, where it was the last poke that decided the battle. And you know, these types of losses or wins, you know, they are so close that you don't even care. Like, we did the best we could, both of us, and uh, yeah, I actually think that his win here was really fair. So yeah, thank you Nobleco for this battle. So yeah, as you saw guys, we really duked it up fairly well there, right into the very end. And uh, I did actually feel that that the ending was rather fair for both of us because, you know, like I said, when you get the last two posts um, in a matchup where, you know, the last move will either, you know, make it or break it, really, uh, it feels somewhat fair because the players that are going against have nothing more to prove. I feel like we were both pushed to the limits and uh, the result is so narrow that, you know, it won't even matter. I love this battle and I think it was a really good one. So thank you, like I said, Axel, for this battle. Uh, don't forget to check him out, guys. And other than that, thank you for always watching, guys. Love the support. And have a good day. Alright, guys? Bye.